Okay, take two. <laughs> I'm, the reason why I'm saying that is because earlier I kind of had a little oopsie come out of my mouth, so I had to delete this past video. So I'm going to try, <laughs> try it again. I keep going until I get it. Anyway, I'm uh, going to be making a, a what I call a leopard gecko rubber tail bugger jig. And uh, I don't know, everybody's got names. I always have problems with names and everything. I just say it's a jig, you know. Different ways of making a jig. But anyway, I'm going to start with a 6 hot chartreuse thread. And I'll start it right. Cut, I trimmed the collar off on this particular wall I had. It's a 332nd on a number 2 sickle hook. And I'm going to wrap it. Just about to where the hook point is. Okay, next thing on the agenda. Oh, I'm going to return it back to the... to there. And these are uh, silly legs. Barred silly legs. This is a... Uh, what is What color is this? This is uh, just yellow. Yellow barred. I want to keep with that that leopard theme, you know. Leopard geckos. I mean, the, the scaling on these jig heads and everything reminds me of my leopard gecko that I have in the other room. I had him. I had him with me a long time. Anyway, I'm taking the legs. I kind of stretch it a little bit so it gets stays tight, and then I'm just gonna wrap back to the head tie everything down really nice now with these when it comes to this leopard gecko the, the the barring and stuff on these tails boy they're all getting all tangled up on me we're gonna have to maybe do another take now nah, we won't do that we'll we'll fight through it anyway to return it back to where that hook point is and from there I'm going to take my uh, lemon badger hackle feather. I usually try to get it right at the tip. And then I stroke the feathers back. See, it opens up nice and nice for me. And I'm just going to tie the tip in. Mr. Clumsy here and since I can't get the color that I want I'm gonna take two colors of chenille one's like a white silver black and the other one's got a, sil a yellow gold and I'm gonna tie it in right at the collar wrap it back to the hook point and bring it back to the head bring my arm over here so I got two hands to work with that's what that did this arm and everything comes in handy big time and I'm just gonna start twisting twist 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 come on twist do the twist going to be a little tricky. One, two. Try to keep everything out of the way. Maybe have to do a little bit more twisting. Oh, God. That's where the bad word came in last time the jig came loose I don't know why I'm having problems with this jig I think I can get through just this part and then I'm going to have to readjust again yeah I know people are probably thinking yeah you probably need a new vice but nah I don't Now 
I gotta get all those legs out of the way. And I grab my hackle pliers. Usually get about four wraps on a jig this size. Get it out of the way. They keep wanting to fold over on me too. Ah, heck. We're getting there. Should probably just show you instead of trying to talk to you all the time. Because I, I think what it is, it could be the music. I'm not, I don't have any music going right now. Anyway, this jig's just about finished other than, I, like I said, I like stroke the hackle feathers, hold it back. Then come some nice, tight wraps. Now you got that nice feathers and everything. The last fibers hanging, standing up and all over the place. Now I'm going to finish with my four half hitches. Maybe it's five, who knows. Uh, it's hard to keep track anymore at my age. Uh, anyway, it's done. And as you can see, these things are a little long. So I'm going to trim some to different lengths. And by doing that, it's going to flare in different ways and you don't have everything all one one size. It seems like when everything is uniform with rubber, it has a tendency to just collapse on itself. But when you have different sized legs and stuff going through it, it just seems like something is always moving. You know, whether it's a long hair or a short, you know, it's always moving. Anyway, you just trim it up. I got stuff all over the place. But it just, I think it just has more movement and everything when, uh, when the legs are, have a variety of sizes in it. What do you think? Anyway, I got, like I say, I did two of them. And I'll be putting them up shortly and see what you think. Hope you liked it.